at the comp. So hi everyone, this is the GSIPFS Core Web Core Dev Weekly Sync Up. Uh, we need to find a shorter name. Uh, today is February 26th, and as usual, let's go and do a round of updates, share what we have done last week, what we got blocked, and we really need help, either by uh, help making a decision or help figuring out the problem. And what seems that is the most important thing for us to do the following week. Um, yeah, uh, Volker didn't manage to, like, um, he's busy today, so he shared his update. Um, I'll just follow the, the order in which people share their updates uh, on the crit path. And so that makes you first, Richard. You want to start? Hello. Um, basically didn't do much, uh, last week, been blocked on, um, getting the IPS, um, release so I can start working on the demon controller with graceful shutdown and a few other window problems. Uh, also I've, I've submitted a couple, uh, requests out to, um, MDS, uh, multicasting and um, sleepy time to get our polling or no polling uh, working on MDS. That's about it, really. Good. Uh, what, so, um, what is the state of interop in the leap peer to peer uh, MDNS module? Are we fully happy with the go implementation right now, or is it going to yeah, I'm happy with the implementation. I, I just want to get um, two changes out there in the um, open source community. Mm -hmm. If not, um, if not, uh, it seems nobody's replying to sleep time at all. And um, M MD, um, multicast DNS is iffy whether they um, look at you or not. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we, can, we can always link against my branches and uh, release it if you want it. to do that. So I don't know build sleepy time, but I do know multicast CNS. Um, if, yeah. like if something takes more than five days for some other module to respond, uh, definitely ping me. Um, we might happen to know, like the world is very small. We might yeah. happen to know the developer and I just ping them directly either to Twitter DM or even like text message. Um, Otherwise, we can always like try to reach out by email or something and just ask. So like a lot of the times the contributors are, the, the model authors are just so busy that they would really appreciate more help maintaining oh, that's them. What, that's what I would thought because the, uh, the developer, I forget his name, of um, multicast DNS has always been good, except the PRs within a week. Yeah, it's yeah. Matthias, yeah. Matthias is, is solid. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So I, I'm assuming he might be busy right now. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, well, if in like a day or two, like you don't get back, definitely ping me so that we can like reach out. Okay, sounds good. What is your uh, focus for this week? Um, well, I'm really just waiting for um, IPS to be released um, mm -hmm. so I can do this stuff with the demon controller. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, um, I'm, I'm just, I've been um, working in C Sharp lately, uh, just trying to get some of that stuff up and running. Uh, which has no bearing to you, but uh, I've been what looking. Is the, at, what is the Net IP Fest engine? Um, that's basically um, what you would call uh, JIPS core. Got it. Got it. Okay. So yeah, uh, I already have all the uh, HTTP bindings and the, um, the interfaces for core. That's all done. That was done months months ago. This okay. is actually implementing IPS in, in uh, C Sharp, doing all the protocols. Sweet, sweet. Um, cool. Like, y you might want to just call it like net IPFS, right? Uh, or even C Sharp IPFS, because then it's clear that it is the implementation of IPFS in that language. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been going through a lot of naming issues, <laughs> um, but we'll come up with a good name eventually. Classic. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Cool, yeah. cool. So, uh, anyone has questions for Richard? So, so um, one thing, if you do have a priority bug you want someone to take a look at, just um, flip me an email. Okay, so 
That is typically very simple to check just by going to the waffle board and doing the filtering by priority, P0, P1, et cetera. If you, yeah. if you want me to help you get that list, uh, I can send you the link so that you can like load it directly. But, but yeah, I try to be, like I try to groom the, our issues uh, often mm -hmm. so that like it's always clear for everyone. Cool. Cool? Yeah, thank you. Cool. All right, let's go next. So Volker was not, uh, he's not present. So I'll just like read his update. He did progress on the DAG API for just API, just API, check the PR. Um, he had to skip some tests on Go IPFS. Uh, well, I need to check which tests are these. Um, I'll try to, to unblock him. And like his focus for next week is to get the DAG API fully implemented on just IPFS API, which is great. Like a lot of people want to use the DAG API with Go IPFS and so far they haven't been able to. And porting more than just buffer tests. Okay, and one thing that I need to ask him, which is really important, is this just like the release and bubble up of updates to unblock, to unblock just IPFS release. So yeah, like the just IPFS release is now just like pretty much blocked on, on having IPLD bubbled up, like I'll change the bubble up to just IPFS. Cool, so let's go to the next one, Machi. Um, so I basically did nothing this week except uh, a few things on libp2p node trust because I'm still blocked by the libp2p next rewrite. Mm. And I also found the cause of this connection get observed addresses uh, not returning anything. I have linked the PR that fixes it. And I will be finishing the PDP no trust after the PDP gets finally re finally rewritten. So thank you. Uh, could you elaborate a little bit more on this issue that you pointed? So I see that like it's a pull request from Pedro. Um, does this also solve your problems? Is that it? Um, yes, because uh, the function connection get observed addresses was wasn't returning anything because. Uh, something was missing, so it uh, could not get the multi address from the TCP connection. And this PR solves that. Was everything understandable? Or? Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, so I'm just like copy pasting so that I know what I need to unblock from. And I also need to. Yeah, okay. So I'll, I'll merge and release it. Thank you. Uh, what is your focus for this week? Um, if uh, the rewrite gets finished, then I will be uh, finishing with PDP no trust. Okay, so but the, I don't think the we... rewrite, like, to be completely honest, like the rewrite might take two or three weeks more, just given the amount of stuff that is on my plate and like the amount of work that the rewrite requires. Um, and so, yeah, I, I'm sorry for blocking you for so long. It, it is just like, I don't think it's fair to, to <laughs> like tell you like, yes, wait for it this week because it's not going to happen this week for sure. And so if you have more stuff to focus or like if you are available to pick on other issues that exist on like P2P land and just like events land, that would be great. Um, and you can do that again the same way that Richard uh, to go to the waffle board and and like filter by the the issues like the issues on the Reddit column and like check the ones that are more important like the P zeros and the P ones and pick those and and tackle those. Um, yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely do that. Okay, so so I'll put here peak. Um, more issues from the waffle board P0 and P1 to tackle this quick. Okay, so I added this note. Sounds good? Looks good? Yes. Sweet, thank you. Uh, okay, so next it's me. Um, I didn't manage to get a lot of work done last week as I hoped for, but I did work on the JSPFS release. I had a, a bunch of conversations with Victor on the the CI uh, PR, 
basically, I prepared a release like a Rodel highlight, so like a native highlight. What are the outstanding things that we want to get the release in? And then like talk with all the people that are working on those things to make sure we are aligned to to make it work. Uh, and so that's primarily what I did. I also I believe I replied to every issue on PR that people open. Um, let me know if I missed any. Um, right now, like I still like my time this week will be extremely limited. Um, but I want to see if I can ship the JSIPFS uh, 028. And I'm just blocked on the JSIPLD stuff. I know that Volker is already working on it. So like he made some progress today. Perhaps tomorrow or after tomorrow, it will be done. So I'm expecting to have it done by Thursday or Friday. And that's like my, my, my focus for this week. Any questions? I don't see any hands. Let's go for Enrique. Enrique, go for it. Hey. So uh, in the last week, I started implementing the bandwidth stats on GSIPFS, and I'm waiting for Pedro to finish the PR of those stats in lib P2P, peer-to-peer. -peer. And that's it. I'm In the next week, I'm hoping to finish that PR and focus on IPFS desktop. All right. All right. So um, in, do you know the... Uh, when Pedro thinks like the, the stats PR for Switch is going to be ready, is it this week or? I don't know. Okay. I hope so. You should you should think up with him. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Think, think up with Pedro PGD on it. Um, cool. I don't see any hands. Let's go next, John. Hey. Uh, so, <clears throat> I uh, last week and a little bit of this weekend, I worked on on some uh, like speculative speculative ads. So there's a way to you know, kind of generate a hash or what you know what would be hash for a file. And this is requested a couple times. It's a small feature. Um, there's two PRs um, that are that are available that I'm waiting that um, this is waiting for. Um, one is an IPFS API, and it has I think I think everything is uh, ready. It just um, there's a there's a CI test that many that are failing, but I don't know. But I don't know uh, why that is. I think it might just be working on the CI. Um, there is one. Uh, there is like some object patch uh, tests that were failing that was also happening in Volker's um, recent PR to IPFS API. But um, then I, I push a new code, and now I'm having another test fail that is separate, um, and I'm also not able to replicate that. So um, maybe rerun. Maybe we should rerun the uh, CI or um, see if that happens again, or if it was just like a, an occasional thing, um, or if you've seen it before. Um, if you didn't see that. So it's not not like I saw. I saw the PR with the, the failing test. It's not always the object tests that fail? Yeah, so whenever I first pushed, I had all four of those, or there were four tests, all four of them were failing for me. Uh, on Volker's, uh, only two of them were failing, and then um, I pushed a new code, and now there's um, something about PubSub, uh, yeah, PubSub LS, um, where it should be empty, it was repairing something. That might be a kind of environment. So there might be some race condition there, like, um, oh, Richard has something to say? Yeah, um, that pub sub, pub sub stuff has always been failing randomly. Um, I, I think it's related to that problem we have with Go, where sometimes um, it, it won't generate uh, because of timing issues a uh, subscription, um, which apparently has been fixed, but we've been waiting months to get a Go release. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So the pub sub ones, we might like just close our eyes and skip those ones. The other ones are new, so let's like figure out that out. Um, okay. If you were part of the IPFS LN, Steven basically is also looking for help to like solve the last three issues on the comments library to then do the release. Um, okay. yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. um, so the object patch tests we're, we're passing on this last, um, after this last, on this last CI run. Mm -hmm. And so, so I think that those might have been intermittent and get resolved. Um, so next, I was originally going to um, this work on um, Adam Stone has a really big PR for the uh, Pen API on JSI on, for JSIPFS. I was going to start working on that and kind of finishing it up. 
Um, it looks like he commented this morning and pushed some changes that he's been making over the past few days um, that respond to a lot of, that kind of clean through a lot of that cleanup. So I don't know if there's really too much for me to do. I think we, maybe um, we could review his again and see if there's any remaining issues and I'm happy to go back and, and fix those. Um, yeah, totally, totally. I, I saw that comment as well. Essentially, like it would be very helpful for me to review it again if I saw that the mm -hmm. test suite uh, was all passing, like it was all green with mm -hmm. like pulling master into that branch, like replacing and like ensuring that the test suite is complete because like it adds so much code that like at this point yeah. I've reviewed like probably more than eight times uh, at different stages, different months, mm -hmm. different also iterations of even like JSAP test structure and internal modules mm -hmm. that in order to move forward confidently right now with confidence, like we just need tests. Like we need to prove that the thing is working. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. the, the litmus test for this is when you um, do as watch files and do pin and pin and pin and pin in JSAPFS and use the same thing in Go. And like the, the final pin set is the same. Like it should, mm -hmm. should be the same. Um, okay. If that passes, perfect. Um, okay. And so that means like you need to do tests on JSAPFS and also the interrupt suite. Like if you go to IPFS slash interrupt, you can you should have some tests there for pinning and like make sure that like both implementations are the same. Okay. And so that's like the work. Like it's it's about the work that that it's not just implementing a new feature. It's more polishing the code, make sure it all makes mm -hmm. sense. I remember mm -hmm. there's like a lot of functions that were kind of like confusing, and and mm -hmm. also just like landing landing the thing. Like okay. so. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I would I would love to do that because there's a lot of opportunity for me to see like totally new things um here, but it might take a minute more and it might take me some time. So no worries, no worries. And and like we are all available to help. Like just being us on the issue. Like I think pretty much almost everyone here understands the the code paths for that that uh, that code and can help you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, great. I would love to tackle that. Yeah. Right. Okay. And also, as I've uh, been saying in other calls, like if you need to do like some pair programming, like I'm also able to schedule that. And, like we can just hack things together, solve some of those issues. Okay, cool. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's going to be great. Dimitri, last but not the least, share with us your update. Sure. Um, so this last week, it was pretty much all around I the DCTO and getting the tests to run faster everywhere. So I think we've accomplished that with a few enhancement, enhancements to um, able to adjust the key size uh, and also through improving, improving the, um, uh, the way that we are setting the configs, which we were doing before with setting just one value and just iterating over all the, the config values and setting them one by one. Now we're uh, basically just uh, replacing the config file with our configuration. Uh, that fits things uh, considerably. And uh, that is merged and released uh, for having the DCTL version 029, I believe, 029.1. And um, there's a couple of outstanding uh, PRs that need to be merged, basically, that consume this new IPFS DCTL uh, across interop and uh, just IPFS API, mm -hmm. and that should be it. We should get those uh, enhancements propagated. <coughs> Got it. And then, yep. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, yep, that's, uh, there's, there is one issue with just IPFS API where the tests are failing in a very erratic manner. I'm not sure what's going on there. I've kind of uh, looked around and tried to point it to something specific, but I haven't been able to. So uh, the interrupt tests are are passing. Uh, the ones that are failing are Windows tests that are waiting for the, for the graceful, graceful stop um, um, enhancement in just IPFS and mm -hmm. IPFS DCTL as well. So, uh, but yeah, the, the IPFS API, that one's a little um, weird right now. I'm, I'm still looking into what's going on there. Um, other than that, circuit relay, uh, this week is going to be finishing it up, uh, getting all the, I've been kind of getting distracted by the stuff in IPFS DCTL over the weeks, uh, just kind of trying to stabilize that and I haven't been able to concentrate 100% on, on the circuit stuff. 
and what's remaining there is um, interrupt testing, which is um, getting the CIs uh, green, which I think with the IPFSD, CTL uh, enhancements and uh, GSA performance enhancements, that's gonna, um, some of those issues are gonna be resolved. And then the tutorial, which is basically just writing a, uh, a guide to how to use it, why, why we need it, and uh, just a small demo. Uh, that's all coming in Yeah, that's good. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Yeah. Uh, exciting to like be so close to the finish line on many of those endeavors. The um, the only thing, so I agree with all the things. Uh, the only thing uh, I see that might be missing mm -hmm. is like these two like Allen open to issues on IPFS STL, which seem that like there is some mis implementation. It's like there there's something. Yeah. That, like don't really match what the user would expect from documentation. Uh, like there is different behaviors on on inprox nodes and like daemon and okay. daemon, and so perhaps just like like adjusting some variables, like adjusting some some mm -hmm. convergence of options values, and that's done. But like it would be great if we can get okay. those figured out. Oh yeah, I'll get those include, included in my uh, in this week's work. So, I'll get those out. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Sure. like again, like totally trust your priorities right now. Seems correct. Okay. I'm just saying, like, add these to the table if you have time. Yep, um, absolutely. Cool. So we have, uh, well, we just did all the updates for the people that shared an update on the good path. Uh, Zane and Alex, uh, I see you guys here. Do you want like to share something? Um, Tell us what you're up to, like what you're looking at to do. All right, uh, yeah. sure. So I'm like new to the project, so um, I was really interested in like sort of bringing IPNS to uh, the JS world, and so I've been following that train of thought and thinking through all the issues and like sort of working my way back. Mm -hmm. uh, and so now uh, I took a look at the waffle board, and I'm looking to like pick up one of those issues that are easy and ready to build context so I can contribute more. Yeah, that, that's the, the best way to start. And once you are familiar with the, the mountain of modules, uh, it's very <laughs> to navigate. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, thank you, thank you, that's awesome. Uh, and if you need any help or if you get blocked, like, yeah, like reach out to IRC or through a GitHub issue or even through email, feel free. All right, thanks. Cool, uh, Alex. Hi. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm uh, well, mostly on the call to just kind of figure out what people are working on. Um, but I've been fleshing out some of the examples uh, in the JSOPFS repo. Um, I implemented uh, getting chunks of files out of IPFS instead of like the whole the whole file in the stream. Uh, and then, yeah, David said I should, that, that I should go into core. So there's a PR open against uh, Unix FS engine. Um, but I think I'm waiting for Pedro to review, and then when that's in, I can uh, push the changes to to those examples that actually use that that bit of code, which we might. Cool, cool, cool. Like, would you mind like actually sharing your update on the same format? So I don't know if you are familiar. We have like this script pad open right now, and like everyone listed what they have done, what they are blocked, and what is next. And and I know like you have done so much work on all those examples and like going into Unix FS engine, etc that I would love to have that tracked on the notes as in like work in progress. Is that okay, Alex? Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Cool. Um, all right, so we have four minutes left. Uh, it seems we got the hang of this. So we now are able to like share an update amongst eight people and still have minutes left. That's great. Um, the, the thing that I keep saying and just like, Let's bring the, the waffle board up. Is well, let me try to screen share. So the waffle board takes a little bit time to load because there is many, many repos. Uh, web page is slowing down your browser, which is probably the awful word. Oh, come on. I'm not sure why it takes so long for you to load. It, it's totally fast for me. 
Really? Chrome. Yeah. Uh, it might be because I'm almost running out of battery, so my yeah. MacBook might try to step down the CPU as much as it can. Uh, let me try to refresh here. Close other tabs. memory. Well, do you want to screen share very quickly? Would you mind? So that we. Would you mind like screen sharing the thing? Uh, again, but you have to stop your 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 uh, screen share. Yeah, uh, I'm actually looking. Yeah, there you go on the button. Yeah, there you go. You can yep. screen share now. Yep. Okay. So if you do the filter at the top, uh, Dimitri, if you don't mind like so if you click like the filter symbol up right, and then you click huh. labels. And then you like write P zero and critical. Okay. There you go. So there's like a bunch of th things here. Actually, like the support like API. So like Volker is handling and and that those ones are, are right now. Sorry. Um, but I'll for, for for all the other ones. There's a lot of things to pick up from there, uh, and some of them are like are hard. Others are moderate. Uh, some of them are not even labeled with hub content, so it means typically you should be more comfortable with the project before jumping into them. But also, if you go to um, to P1, there is even more stuff. Uh, so, Dimitri, if you can do again the same thing, but for uh, yeah, clear P1, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Like if you scroll, like yes, yeah, 44 issues, many difficulty levels um, that are still equally important. So if you have time, like the idea is you pick an issue, just assign it yourself, and you can like move it from ready to in progress to done. And that would be great. So it, it's like the, the, the framework that we created and that we keep curating to enable everyone to contribute to the project. Also, open the feedback. Hope this like works for everyone. Any any questions? And for those that are new, the help wanted tag is also really helpful because it kind of means that it's easy to step in without much context and understand what's going on and how to fix it. Well, with BGP, you as a, as a router, you always have the whole. Second, so uh, sorry, guys. I just need to grab my charger because I'm running out of battery. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm planting my charge now. Thank you for that note, John. If there are no other questions, we are on time. So I guess, does everyone like, could you stop screen sharing now, Dimitri? If you don't mind. Uh, I just like to make the the question: Does everyone feel confident of what they have to work on this week? Do they have, everyone does everyone have things to work on to, to be busy? It's all good. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for the update. And yeah, see you all on the interwebs. Have a great week. Bye bye, everyone. Bye guys.